Hello, I'm Katie Evelyn. And I'm Grace Rankin. And this is our design proposal for this semester in the Syracuse Architecture New York City program. Located along the Rockway Peninsula in Queens, New York, Edgemere is a coastal neighborhood between Jamaica Bay and the North Atlantic Ocean. Edgemere possesses a rich connection with wildlife while still maintaining ties to urban life and the surrounding boroughs. Edgemere has the potential to combine its urbanism and surrounding nature into a healthy, happy, and sustainable conceptualization of the urban home. But decades of neglect and climate disaster have left Edgemere and its residents disenfranchised and distraught. In 2012, Edgemere was hit by Hurricane Sandy, which devastated the community. Floodwaters rose to 10.96 feet above sea level, causing significant damage to homes and polluting the streets with sewage and trash. Now, 10 years later, in 2022, efforts ranging from local to federal are working to rebuild Edgemere, but the looming threat of rising waters and storm surge remains. In order to address climate disaster, recovery, and prevention, government initiatives such as Build Back Better and Resilient Edgemere have been working with Edgemere residents to provide long-term protection. Build Back Better helps to rebuild and raise houses 10 feet above ground level while additionally promoting relocation by buying houses and land. Resilient Edgemere promotes a plan for affordable housing and retail while mitigating flood issues. However, neither Build Back Better nor Resilient Edgemere address the overarching realities of storm surge and how high tide flooding will still sweep through the streets. This is where the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers comes in, and they have proposed a protection strategy which employs flood walls, berms, hybrid berms, and bulkheads along Edgemere's Jamaica Bay waterfront. Yet this strategy still falls short. While the USACE does provide efficient protection from the water, Edgemere residents are cut off from the bay and lose their connection to nature and water. So, how do we provide protection while still making room for happiness and joy? Instead of employing a top-down approach, we aim to protect communities from natural disasters by starting at an individual-to-individual -individual scale. While the intentions of protection are well-placed, building large-scale infrastructure could have a negative dominating effect. We want to prioritize the pedestrians' access and experience while balancing other methods of transit. Bringing people back into urban infrastructure through engagement instead of dominance, we seek to incorporate ecological design for the health, safety, and emotional well-being of the community. Turning towards the Edgemere community, we see community organizations focusing on social and economic growth. Rockaway Initiative for Sustainability and Equity, otherwise known as RISE, is a community-based organization that provides both community and youth programs focused on stewardship, fresh food accessibility, fresh food education, and environmental education on Jamaica Bay. Looking towards a better future for Edgemere, RISE has directed a three-part series of community forums to develop a community land trust proposal based on residents' wants and needs regarding art, beautification, education, food, recreation, and economic opportunity. Here, Residents discussed their current struggles in Edgemere and how they hope to see change in their community. Issues of neglect, gentrification, racism, and stigma exist in tandem with residents' appreciation of nature, art, and diversity in Edgemere. Recognizing the good and the bad, residents seek to revitalize Edgemere with a focus on community engagement, but this goal is disconnected from the government protection initiatives. Edgemere residents, for obvious reasons, do not want to be walled in by flood walls and bulkheads. Instead, residents want to improve economic opportunities and build more places for learning, play, and socialization. However, if flooding protection strategies such as flood walls and bulkheads are not built, there will be no opportunity for community engagement as climate change wreaks havoc. So we ask the question, what is the balance between play and protection? By embracing the waterfront as part of Edgemere's neighborhood, we hope to optimize the underused waterfront while still prioritizing safety and comfort of Edgemere residents. And we seek to engage, restore, and build from what already exists in order to propose conscientious designs. Vacant lots are scattered across Edgemere, and these empty lots open the doors for various ways to connect and engage the neighborhood's residents. By approaching design through a care over cure process to support long-term growth, we hope to foster community interaction, creativity, and play. Ultimately, we strive to empower people and their community to claim agency and autonomy in their home and neighborhood. We want to bring people together in areas where socializing may be neglected and provide a transparent process focused on honesty and integrity. 
Here, we design visualizations of what the community suggested to rise, which is a space to learn, socialize, exercise, garden, host events, create art, and most importantly, to play. In the face of climate disaster, we aim to design through play and protection to provide climate resiliency, social resilience, and economic growth.